attention to those who are going to be in the procession. Please, we are asking you to report to the place of procession. Ulo, ita mo ngano kete ano tungo tungo ulo ka akilip. Nunsio kang tungo ulo siradang. At kana masunaros nini genera akilip. Para lo kilesia, lo kilesia genero na para lo kilesia. Chamte ka limo kine ni ubuaka. Alright. Yakal, Ola Doctor Gigi Ro, Agebero, Mirella Capra. We just put our money. I'm not going to put our money. I'm 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 going to put our money. Yang baru apa ni? Kita nak buat apa kita nak buat apa? Nanti penai kita kita akan duduk buat dia mulu siadang. Kita nak kita tanya tunga. Kita nak buat apa kita dorre? Kita nak buat apa? 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 Aí é nem a cor verde que eles iam no ano que não vai aí. Bicho de sistema masoli. Então é a mais que dá cro. É a temporada de Paul. É a doutora no para aí tem muito não. Então não é tudo que está lá na tua mãe já viu negar aí com boni missionários. Ali está aí uma com boni. E já foi tomando que aí a Paul que é a doutora logo. É a uma aí. Na caro apelo, fui também agora com o meu, não estou brincando nem agora carei. A família está aqui, eu não é daqui, estamos lá. A pessoa não é de me dar a vida, não. Tudo aí, garei ninguém. Tá aqui, agora já não tem agora, não vai dar ninguém a tapete. E isso é tudo aí, até que tudo isso está claro, aí vamos dar. Naí, que para o povo não é da maravilha, está estar onde já caiu. Eu não faço mais doido. Vamos dar para o galeu. Está lá carei. Kita ada ulang pun kita nak kita dah tahu lah matang. Kalau tuan Mike ia kau. We are asking those who are the meeting for meeting. Those who are going to the procession, please report to the church. Report to the church. If you are the procession dancers, we have a big call that will be the procession. Please report to the main church. We get ourselves organized so that we shall have our little begin in time. I'm already seeing people reporting. I'm not here in my capacity to acknowledge who, who, but time will come when they will be acknowledged. Let's <laughs> Ala karang dia kat toka, aku boleh kini pasang orang mana? Jom aku boleh jolok kini kalau, aku nak kemo dia. So please just get direct to your place where you're going to sit, so that we are ready enough for the celebration. Thank you the choir for the animation. Ala karang kaya kaya ok, aku dengar aku dah tahu mai orang. Ajo kata kat toh dek ya, kau kucu sana ke? Jadi ini ye yang kita dapat mengaitkan di 
Matang Kristo. Matang itu nggak kagut. Eklakar aki jauh nih hezi nge aku longgiti naga. Aku longgiti naik ini menu mewoni. Nge karung atau monikan. Aiko aku ani kole dohnyo. Nge karung atau monikan mulu alu nyari. Iku aku ini nge hezi ngai. Nge hezi send kizito hospital matang. So ekelele ni wani na kuari na ane rai rai eda kita ri lo aki dela akari mo jonga dadang aki supa akari mo jonga dadang alakara akari mo jonga dadang so ani kiponi nega kolonge chenaga ikiponi rai ai na kineni kaguj alakara yok alakara ngita yok 
Alakara anka le ayok. Auna kolo abu nyoki na kina ewoni. Eda gitari logo. Ngedi yakare ewoni nege akolongeti naga. I would like to welcome all those who have come here, invited guests. I am Paul Abul, Chairman Board of Governors Matanyi Hospital, and the organizing committee had requested me at the same time to be MC here. We are here celebrating 50 years of a child called St. Kizito Hospital Matanyi. Matanya Hospital is the pride of Karamoja. It is the happiness of Karamoja. It is the joy of Karamoja. And if it is so, there is a reason for us to be happy as we celebrate this anniversary. Welcome all of you. Be with us. Let us celebrate happily. And when we go back home, let us take that joy, let us take those greetings to wherever you are going, take the greetings from Matany Hospital. Matany Hospital is the pride of Karamoja. It is the joy and happiness of Karamoja. So as we celebrate this feast, we call upon you, our guests, to join us with all your hearts, with all your souls, with all your spirits and strength, so that we celebrate this day happily. We can show our gratitude of festivities here today by joining all those who are here. If it is singing, let us sing. If it is dancing, let us dance. If it is praying, let us pray. So the day is ours. So according to the program we have seen, we shall start with the, the Holy Mass, consecrated by the pronuncio to Uganda, of the Vatican to Uganda, joined by our bishops and priests. So, Egeuno Tawanani Egeuno Azban Akilip Egeunere. Akilip Naga Eyeye Kapolon E Bishop Mola Apolon Molo ewo ikinit papa alo Uganda Archbishop Luigi Bianco Ngeza polo kini ngasuban Muna Kakilip kemisa anege Ala kara no weka ziko Ata nye rari wani Amudugu de rari weka na mojongo de rari Anangana yeda le gyon tangadu bana. Kiko bara dhana yi. E porto neni. Apa der to gyon nemi da. E doko na wana gyon nemi da. Ata mi. E mwadu kwa yoka nda daka ape. E jia otu yoko pe kulwana kwa aranaga. Alo ki dingi yok. Adodua yoko minister. Honorable Dr. Gore Tutu. A minister agana kare mojong. Ye nepe nege. Haka anro boda. E ye ki dingi yok. Brigadier General Joseph Baliku Dembe. A division commander, not a third division, Akan. A corner Akankunda, a brigade commander, 403, Matanyo Matany. So, what I mean, I like a car one away. I had all the other, so a Kalakara, and no one other than a joke, a Giana, a Hobana, a Portonia Padder, a Lakara. Ata nangi tu aloe yeke uli poto nazo ban, ha? So tumo na wanda otena. Eroko mo nanga ban yeke ona. Kanga tangu nusu gua chende. Taro chende ki yangu yangu kajen tuvo. Kukungu ngakinda wadio patera ba tamari tu kurike. 
Maria, So now we shall start with a song of procession while the priests and all the people who have been prepared for the procession start off from the other side. Choir, can you take us on? Oh, my God. 
Thank you very much for turning up for this celebration. Let's welcome in our midst the nuncio, our bishops, and all the, the celebrants that are here with us. Let's give them a clap. Mm. Can you take any one day? Working at duty pay, or tell you out of case. That's Bandogo. I'll ask you to take your seats so that we receive our visitors officially to this celebration. Your Excellency, the Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda. Archbishop uh, Luigi Bianco, Your Lordship, uh, Right Reverend Bishop of Moroto Catholic Diocese, uh, Damiano Gozetti, Your Lordship, uh, Right Reverend Bishop of Cotido Catholic Diocese, Philippe Gosipe, The Vicar General of Moroto Catholic Diocese, Monsignor Paul Mole, The Provincial uh, Superior of uh, Uganda, and uh, my fellow brothers in the priesthood, deacons, religious brothers and sisters, His Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Uganda, the Right Honorable Prime Minister of Uganda, the Right Honorable Deputy Speaker of Uganda Parliament, Honorable Minister of Karamoja, Honorable Minister of State of Health, Honorable MPs of Napak District, plus the MPs from other parts of Uganda. Honorable RDC Napak District, and the colleagues from other districts, and all uh, protocols observed. On behalf of the hospital administration, the staff, and the rest of the parishioners, I warmly welcome you all to Matang Parish to this uh, celebration of the Golden Jubilee. 50 years of existence of St. Kizitu Hospital, Matanye, which we have gathered here to celebrate today, is uh, really a gift from God, not only to the community of Karamoja, but also the neighboring districts. For this, we are so grateful uh, to God. We are also grateful uh, to all those who, in one way or the other, made St. Kizitu Hospital, Matanye, what it is today. Our hearts are full of joy. May this celebration help us all to look back with gratitude on the work that has been accomplished for the last 50 years and to build on the next 50 years of uh, the fruitful healthcare service with a great hope and trust in God's unfailing uh, providence. Nikaito to a kaito to a little my Jesus Christo, a lokiro and karikoke ke edakitari, a lokiro and ketiakeka, a lokiro and he Christo, a da danga mula matanye, ekijaunita yongi yes da dang a loparis mula matany ka nasobanu, eraikire, nasobanu, muna inumenumere, iwone ngakiro, nikaro, ngato monekane, 
ngina peye anguna idakitari ngola matanye aina keneti ngina kaakuch mere kotere ngi karamujong bon na ikotere ngi tunga ngulu anga kwa pina anguna chidang anguna anguna ikilakara iwone nene kaakuch ikilakara iwone nene angitunga adadang angula poto na kinose ka nene angulu aina kina tato kona anguna ka akturone e daktare ngola matanye e daktare kire ngola polon elele ba leliana do tai yoke anguna kech ikisito si ka aleliano ngasobanu iwone tich ngola itia matanye ngikaro kona ngatumonekan ka kingarakisi ngasobanu iwon akitor ngaren ka kigeno ka kinyoma nene ka kuch ka akuch papa with these few uh, words, I now cordially invite uh, Your Excellency, the Apostolic Nuncio, to preside over this Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, at Apostolic Nuncio, representative of Pope Francis in Uganda, it is an honor and a pleasure to greet all of you. First of all, the distinguished civil authorities who are present today, the bishops, Damiano Bustetti, Bishop of Morozzo, Giuseppe Filippi, Bishop of Cotito, the clergy, the religious, man and woman, the provincial superior, the Comboni missionaries, Father Vasil, the general superior, the Comboni sister, <coughs> Sister Luigia Costa, and all of you. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to, and to you my brothers, brothers and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my thoughts, through my words, through my words and my words, that I have transgressed many authorities, all dangers and sins, and to you my brothers and sisters, we pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life.
pray. Throughout the night, O oh Lord, we pray a spirit of truth, understanding, and peace, that we may know with all our heart what is pleasing to you, and with one accord, pursue what we have come to know. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let's keep on standing. What follows is the process of the word of God. And I just want to bring to your attention some symbols that we have put there. The symbol we have put there is the symbol of Atuba. Atuba is a, is a wooden calabash that typically in the tradition is used for carrying some object like maybe milk, serving food, and carrying water. So we are using Atuba to carry the word of God, symbolically like we are going to be fed by the word of God through this kind of symbol. And the word of God is going to nourish us so that we are satisfied with it and be able to be enriched spiritually. So as the procession goes on, let's take that meaning. And there will be the lighted candles, which is also a sign of light. The word of God is a light to us. If Matan is celebrating 50 years, it came because of the word of God. And therefore, it's again today's moment to say thank you for that little light that began 50 years ago and has ministered to us in different ways. Now, let's follow the procession. Oh, no. 
went down to wash his feet in the river. A large fish suddenly leaped out of the water and tried to swallow his foot. He shouted in Harlem, but the angel said to him, take hold of the fish and don't let it get away. Tobias seized the fish and hauled it up on the shore. The angel then told him, cut the fish open and take out its gall, heart and liver, and keep them with you. But throw away the entrails. Its gall, heart and liver make useful medicines. After the lad had cut the fish open, he put aside the gall, heart, and liver. Then he broiled an egg part of the fish. The rest he salted and kept for the journey. Afterward, they traveled on together till they were near Media. Tobias asked the angel this question. Brother Azaria, what medicinal value is there in the fish heart, liver, and gall? He answered, as regards the fish heart and liver, if you burn them so that the smoke surrounds a man or a woman who is afflicted by a demon or evil spirit, the affliction will leave him completely and no demons will ever return to him again. And as, the, as for the girl, if you rub it on the eyes of a man who has cataracts, blowing into his eyes right on the cataracts, his sight will be restored. Abuna i Tobias totiyar na ngolol akilotar nga kejene keng. Toporu ya kole angoloti ya buron anakipi. Kikatak akilikor akeju a Tobias. Toso di Tobias kiworo. Abuna ya malaika tolimok Tobias tema. Kikamu ya kole angol. Kimi diki neni keng angun abuna e Tobias kikam e kolia kiri wana kipi tema na ye malaika neni a Tobias tochile ko ke kolia angul ido tole ma pid elinga emang kiri mulu akwanga ejo kunya tena inga konyen aitu manan. Angin, akrotong na kakuj. Oh, 
when you change out to evangelic, let's rise up and receive the gospel. Toye ye kapolo nenikus. Atu tu beting na ngakro ang unajokak ang negiri mata yo.
Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territories or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost, you have received. Without cost, you are to give. Kia kia yesu ngulu tomon kanyare ngul kichik ikestema. Nilotu na kwa pina ngitungwa angulu nyerangi yudayan. Kori lo tau ne dio ngolo angisa maritayon. Na ya kilo tolo tolo tungwa ngulu a Israel. Ngulu ikote nga mesekin nguna ya walito. Tolo toke tata maikesi basi. Apu apukan ngina na kuj. Kita ngale utungi kadiakak. Kita yarutungi katwak. Kita segutu ngulu kata pon. Kakirita nasingi piam. Ipoto ya historia mutu kongin. Angun kipoto si ias dang kongin. Akirot ke kapolo ni ngesna. The first reading is from the book of Tobit, a domestic story. At Nineveh, there lives a man named Tobit, exiled with his tribe of Naphtali. Tobit is a generous, God-fearing Jew, law-abiding, who becomes blind and poor in the course of doing doing good to other Jews. Tobit's son, Tobias, with the help of the archangel Raphael, find a cure for his father's blindness. The message of this history is that the divine providence is with us day by day. In this case, benevolence of God is at once revealed and hidden in the Archangel Raphael. The character of God in the biblical revelation is the closeness to the people. In the family, in the different situations, there are difficulties, challenges, doubts, but it is necessary to continue to be competent, to continue to trust in God. God is always with us. The evangelical page presents the mission of the twelve. Jesus himself called the twelve apostles and gave them instructions about the way to do their mission. There is a cooperation of the disciples in the mission of the proclamation of the gospel. From the beginning of the public ministry of Jesus, and this continues today also. This is an <coughs> important moment in the mission of Jesus. 
to call the apostles and to give them the mission to continue his mission of salvation in favor of the humanity. Jesus did this before his death and also after his resurrection. Jesus explain and offers, explains and offers a description of the mission of the apostles. Do not make your way to Gentile territory and do not enter any Samaritan town. Go instead to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The first receivers of the message are the people of Israel, and after also other peoples and nations. In his first time, there is a limitation to Israel, the chosen people from God and, and object of the promises to Abraham. Also, Jesus indicates to the apostles the message to give the proclamation of the kingdom of God. As you go, make this pro proclamation. The kingdom, kingdom of heaven is close at end. Kingdom of heaven is the same of kingdom of God. Matthew writes his gospel for the Jew people for who it it is forbidden the pronunciation of the name of God. So he prefers to write kingdom of heaven. In the Gospels, there are no definition of the kingdom of God because kingdom of God is the same Jesus. The Paschal mystery of his passion death and resurrection is the realization of the kingdom of God announced by the prophets and it, it arrives at his complete fulfillment. The missionary discourse of Jesus contains also other instructions. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those suffering from virulent skin diseases, drive out devils. The mandate is to continue the mission of salvation of Jesus, that is a complete salvation of the soul and of the body, to save the entire person of everyone and especially of the people who are suffering. Human beings need the care of both, the body and the soul. In the care of the sick may rightly be seen a sign of the fidelity of Christ's followers to his command that they heal the sick. The origin of the salvation is clearly affirmed. You received without charge. Give without charge. The salvation is a gift from God, from his love and mercy. And the apostles are invited to do the same and also all the Christians. Let us keep going back to God's own style, which is closeness, compassion, and tender love. Closeness is important, and the Christians are invited to do the same. Closeness to the people, closeness to everyone, but about all to the small, smallest, the most discarded, the most disparate. All the Christians, in virtue of the Baptist, are called to promote and to serve the kingdom of God. In his pragmatic document, the Apostolic Exhortation, Evangelii Gaudium, the joy of the gospel, on the proclamation of the gospel in today's world, 
Pope Francis invites all Christians everywhere and this very moment to a renewed personal encounter with Jesus Christ. Evangelization is the task of the church. The church as the agent of evangelization is more than an organic and hierarchical institution. She is first and foremost a people advancing on its pilgrim way towards God. No human efforts, however good they are, may be, can enable us to merit the great, so great gift. God, by his sheer grace, draws us to himself and make us one with him. The salvation which God has wrought and the church joyfully proclaims is for everyone. God has found a way to unite himself to every human being in every age. No one is saved by himself or herself individually or by his or her own efforts. These people which God has chosen and call it is the church. Catholic have care in general are called to be witness to the fact where there are no lives, lives that are unworthy or to be discarded because they do not respond to the criterion of usefulness or to the demand of profit. These are words of Pope Francis. Thanks to God for the 50 years of activity of St. Chisito Hospital Matanium, may this institution, to the dedication of the healthcare workers and all who are involved in it, continue the service of the sick as a sign of the love of God and his salvation for all the people. May God give abundant blessing to all of you through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Mercy and Elf of Enferm, Saint Daniel Comboni, and the Venerable and Future Blessed Father Dr. Giuseppe Ambrosoli. Amen. Era di mo ne uruaka ang karimo jong. Katakin cha wadi ojici. Abuwe nung si otoge wa bala be. Raya si me elementa si me tatingin na kape yalo kita ba ang wala atobit. Raya atobit ekile ang olokate karangin na naftali. Ara ekileng olo ewa petinge kidela ekileng ola jokon na ya buto mudukaner kaloto ma king arakinet ngena ke malai ka Rafael abunges e tongaleu ito di unto nugu atamare be ara ya jokis ka kuju ngena erukito ka ewan ngi dai dadang ebe a jokis ka kuj ikiwa peti wan ka kinyara kinyare tu wana simen asimeta tena ga atamare be Itemo kuna wanda adang eki nyo mito wa kuj. Ka oye na kisi ya kuj nge yoko taida adang. Aloto me evangeli. Iroro yesu unakakia karo. Unakakia kit. Abu yesu kristo kia kia nge keki uwa pangulu tomo na nge arei. Taritoko na ya kiti yesu nge tunga. Taritoko na kia kitu wani yesu. Na kwa pin ake dhera ke krot. Aloto ma ake ke akit. Abange dhe limokini nguluto mwana nkan ka angyare ebe. Ngiloto na kwa pini ngache. Nguna ngyare na ngyu dayan. Ngiloto tar Samaria. Na ito loto. Lo yu dayan. Loto nga ngulu eolio rito kwa nga medekin. Be arangi yu dayan. Ngitunga ngulu idhia unetaki jewa na krot nga nga kakuj. 
Ikiaku ikinyarta won dadang kinyarta won aloto me evangeli aki der ak rot ngena ka kuj aki der apukan ngena ka kuj abale nun siobe ikuan apukan ngena ka kuj ikuan ka apukan ngena na kuj be aloto me evangeli mam ngel limunta nyu ara apukan ngena na kuj anya ara yesu ya lope ara apukan ngena na kuj yesu ya lope ngida ara akito de kinet ngena ka apukan ngena na kuj ana kwa panaga Ani arai abu ngi eski tonga le wongi tonga ngulu a muduka ka ngulu a dia kasi abu kito roto ngi ngi kang walak abu kito ya roto ngulu a toa kito arai nuku nguna toa di unta ata marbe arai yesu ya lope ngi da arai abu kan ngi na na kuj iki nyar ta won da dang no woi ngulu a polo kinto ngi ti chidio a kiti ya ngunai ki chika kinto wani yesu kristo no woi a ki ngara kin ngulu a roko unto ngi chan Bana be nun si obe akuan ke tau ngi dara e tunganan bala e chiki ngi yuda e ngi te ngi gua paka ke ngi be i potu e ki jawut e kongin toko na e te moku no ki poto si kongin a ni ara e ara e apukan ngi na e ka akuj ngi na ara e a e na kinet ngi na ka akuj kotere ngi tunga da dang ki chika ki ngi di wana te mare be i te moku no O a pi e te no o ya lo tunga no o ya lo tunga ngulu e ruka unto ngi chan a lo tunga ngulu e kuli a kaka i te moku no o nda dang e de ra ki de ka e jia ma ki de a pukan ngi na ka a kuja na kua panaga e bana e na be li muni nguna i ruo ro papa ngolo a roma francisco e be i ki jia un ti ngi di o nda da ki ngi ta ngi ti ngi di o nda dang a ki ria ma ki na bo ka yosu kristo ngolo a ra lo ko ka ku ta ra e tunga nan dang Be ara e kele siya ara e ate kere ngena ngu tunga ka akuj angulu e loda te anege ite ete nito e loda te na akuj iki nyara tu wanda dang akuj wanda dang mamu tuwa ni tia kare tae pei dang i wanda dang ki nyara ta akuj aku wapa ki nero tongol ngola yesu kristo ngolo ki tena ri wana pukan ngena na akuj mamu tunga e pedori ala kuni bon mamu tunga e pedori ari amone aki yara ngena ana akuju bon Yesu ya lo peng edi kela kuni wan ka yesu ya lo peng edi kenyare tu wan da dang ake dara kero tong na ka kuja na kwa pana mam tu ngan ngini e peduri ata mare be ara nge di tu ngan an ngini nga peduri tu kori nga peduri ari amana ki yar ngana na kuj bala nge di be apukan ngana na kuj ka ki yar ngana na kuj ara na nge tu ngan da dang ngi kor nga tu moni kan Mulu numu numu yona kolong iti naga ni karong ato moni kan mulu ki jana kini a wana da ki tarong wala matan a rai ni karong mulu tembo kuna wana tala kari to a kuji ni a rai no wai ni ta kinta na yai nun sio a da ki tarong wala matan to lotong aren i jana kini nga mese kini ngona ka a kuji a buki moa ma ka da ki tarong logo tema be turi a ma da ki tarong logo a nga yana kini ta ngona ki a ta ngole a busan da dang. Onyoto ete te otayo kono pit.
What follows will be the prayer of the faithful. The main celebrant will introduce, and then the Kaskot, an elder of the Karimojong, will be invited forward to come and do the Akigat, the traditional setting of the Karimojong way of prayer of the faithful. Confidence, we present our prayers to God for the needs of the church and of all the people. Coin <laughs> Alo tunga kang alo kayok. Yeni karonon anaki mak kalo kadiko. Yeni karonon alo du angulu chichik angulu da pa kangulu peduru dang. Yeni karonon alo kapolok alo kepukak. Yeni karonon alo dagitar alo dagitar. Yeni karonon yeni karonon da dang. Yoni karono nyapu ya ginlo mudala baba ku ya ginya Baba ya ginya Kai won ni kiriyama Ni karimo jongo ya Ye ya Ye ya Ni na pe alo ki de ya Ye ya Ye ya Ni na pe alo te ya Ye ya Ni karimo jongo ya Ye ya Ye ya Mina pe alo ku ye ya ye ya ye ya ni karimo jongo ya ye ya mina pe alo ko pe ya ye ya ye ya ye ya ni kanu pa ko ya ye ya ru kele ye ge ye ya ye ya ye ya ye ya ye ya ni pa de re ya ye ya ye ya Ye ya, na umuro ya te ya. Ye ya, ye ya, ni pili ko opi ye ya. Ye ya, lo ko prima ye ya. Ye ju ye ya, ye ya, ye ya, ye ya, ni di ko ni ye ya. Ye ya, na kroto ka aku ye ya. Ye ya, ita tamet te ya. Ye ya, ye ya, ye ya. Ye ya, ye ya, ni ko tu ku mane ya, ye ya, ye ya, lo cha pa la ka ye ya, ye ya, ye ya me ta ka ro ti ka ku ye ya, ye ya, ye ya, ye ya, ni di ang du ku le ya, ye ya, ni ka ta ta ma ka ni du ku le ya, ye ya, ye ya, ni ka ti ki ti ta ya, ye ya, lo ke le ya ka ye ya. Ye ya, ni kari ko ang di ni ada ada ya, ye ya, ye ya, do kela ya ka ye ya, ye ya, ma bikira ye ya, ye ya, ye ya, na da kita ni ye ya, ye ya, ye ya, na million ni ya, ye ya, ye ya, ma bikira ye ya, ye ya, ye ya, ni puri tele ye ya, ye ya. Educate ya, 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 
Ngiga ti ya ga ra ga ra ya. Ya ya. Ya ya. Ji ji ya ya. Ya ya. Ya ya. Ngida ga ta ya ya. Ya ya. Ya ya. Ya ya. Ngida ga ta ri ya ya. Ya ya. Ya ya. Ma na ya ya. Ya ya. La ka de ga ga ya. I kwa i kwa ye te ya. I ma de te ya. I zi ya ne te ya. Ya ya. I nwa ke te ya. Ya ya. Ya ya. La ka de ga ga ya. Ni ka de ga. Wo lo ti be ye du. Wo lo ti a tu ro ni ka ka. Wo lo ti be ye ni ya do ko ni ya ka ni la ka de ga pe do ko ya. Ya ke ta ngale wul pe ta ngale wa. Ni ka de ga ga ni la ka di pa la ka ya. Ni ka wa ke ni la ka ba la ka di pa la ka ya. Ni wa ni ya la ka di pa ke la ka ya. Ni ka wa ke ni ka ya la ke ta re ya. Ya ya. Ha ta lo je ka ta wa ya. Ya ya. Ya ya. Ya ya. Ngo lo ti be mi de be ni pa pa ya. Mi de be ni ya ya ka wa ya. Ya ya. Lo ki jo la wa ya. Ya ya. Ni mini ni ta ya. Ya ya. Ya ru ki to ka ni ya. Ya ya. Ya ya. Lo pa ya me ni te ya. Ya ya. Ya ya. Ha te mpi ya ya. Ya ya. Ya we ki to ka ya tu ya ya. Ya ya. Ji 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 ya ya. Ya ya. Ya ya. Ya ya. O ko en ka tu ma. Ari otro ma jo ke ya poto na kwa pyo ko ke lu na kwa pro Hiki na kwa na kujina ko ari na ha kuji papa Hiki na ka min alo ki dingi yo Hiki na ko on ha ki dion Hiki na ko on ha ki geno Ngolo ti be nya ke dil nya ke dil nya bukun lo to yo ankar mo jo ba bukun ya Nya ke dil nya ke la pari ala ka ri mo jo pe ala pari ya Hi won nya la ka ri pa ke la ka ri ya Ngolo ti be nya ke dil e jo tu nya lo Ki ya 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 la lo ta ya ya ko ang mo ta pra ji da nya ya ke dil ngolo ru ba ngolo ang ka ru ang ngolo ye ju ang me re ngolo ang ka ru ang ru ang ya ri ya ngolo ye ju Wo ye ye wanyara ta ke tu wa ku ja my wo ye ye wanyara ta ke tu wa ku lo ko ku ka ku to e wona e bo wa yo ye ye wanyara ta ke tu wa ku ja my yesu lo ko ku maria to e wona e bo wa my wo ye ye Manya ratang itu aku ya, maye. Mata Maria. Hail Mary. Let us take our seats, a boy knows. Now we are on the moment of offertory. This is a moment of offering our gifts. I just want to bring caution. The gifts we are giving are for the mass, but it will also be a collection of gifts for the support of our hospital during the second collection. So, as you are offering, plan accordingly. Rako na pagna ka pagna ko fertorio na kiano na ako na kineta na alta rako na pedek. Ganay siya, asam dalim muna kaya ito naga at amare isya da taka eh isya da molo ayon na bonga na kineta na gangreo na yako daktar tanchayong 
Salopu koko na yana tamara yu kwa hii. Yimbu dakro ba wakuji. So now let's get ready for offertory.
Session. The person of gifts will go as follows. The altar servers will be in front of us, and then there will be the dancers, again, the traditional setting to welcome the gifts to offer to God. Then we shall have, we'll follow the bread and the wine that we shall offer at the sacrifice. Then they will follow other gifts that will come along with them. Again, joyfully, let's welcome our gifts and offer to the Lord. Choir.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look with gracious favor, O Lord, we pray on the offerings of your servants that they <laughs> may truly understand and proclaim with confidence what is right and what some in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you bestow gifts sweetly to every season and guide the governing of your church in wonderful ways. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you come and fail to her aid, so that if art always subject to you, she may never fail to seek your help in time of trouble, nor cease to give you thanks in time of joy, through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the court of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. <laughs> indeed all your Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, and send it down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, rent willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this in my body will be, be given up for you. <laughs> in 
in a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, will be, be proud for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread it throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of life. Together with uh, Francis, our Pope, Dabiano, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. We remember today in a special way all those who have contributed to, to, to this uh, institution who are buried here and uh, uh, where else, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Quisito, St. Daniel Comboni, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <laughs> to him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, immune to the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At Vesebius command and forming by divine teaching, we dare to say, <laughs> Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracefully grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, Gracefully grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Kimalaknos Gexel.
Now is the time, time for Holy, Holy communion. communion. Again, Again, just, just for purposes, purposes of proper reception. I know, I know we are here in all our representation from different denominations. It, it will only be for Catholics that are prepared to come, to come forward to receive. For us, the rest we receive spiritually. spiritually. I want you to be a talk to your own to the other one for you. Put up a radar in the other day. I don't want to
of Christ. Now it's time to tell him thank you. Can you rise up and we dance for the Lord and thank the Lord. You say very guest. I know the choir is going to give us a good tone. You can clap. You can swing. So <laughs>
Let us pray. Grant us a merciful God that the holy gifts we have we received, received may, may confer us in your soul to do your will and make us everywhere witness to your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before we get the final blessing, this is just to inform us that now we have come to the conclusion of the Mass. The nuncio is going to bless us and then the priests will go back to the to the church to invest, then they will come back and join us. So we are already concluding part part one of our celebration. I to all of you, I have the pleasure, pleasure to transmit the apostolic blessing of His Holiness Papa Francis. Francesco. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Our faith is in the name of the Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, our Mass is ended. If I have a the world, the world, the world, the world, as, as we already received them for the beginning of the Mass, as, as they process out the again with the joy, let's, let's accompany them, them as, as the, the song of uh, exit, exit is being sung by our choir. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
Honorable Faith Nakut, Honorable John Bosco Ngoya, Honorable Locha Peter Ken, Kangi Membai Kempi Ngulushia Dangulua Karimo Jong, Ngiyoko Diso Zabala Yongo Akan. Ngiyoko Kecharo Rwata Kaye, Enak Ni Ona Paki, Neni Kanya Toto Yoko, Neni Ona Kut, Honorable Faith, Elimori Ngedi Ngulushia, Ata Mare Buntika Ama Kha, Ama Kutare, Wanyito Unke Che Jok. Eya kana na ina bongo luchia dang eya yeye LC5 yako na ana park eya LC5 kwa dada ana park iki jia untai iwe yoku mo lakini dada young engi na yako kama LC5 kuna ana park ara DC na park eya yeye iki jia untai ni yako pe yako ngul eya kazi tena ni tia so alakara no woi odongo tu manapa programu epo iki nusu na yia eki angi taka epo iki nusu amuano kwa ati ria odang. Bukan nak orang Allah tak dengan kiara Allah tak ni bon. So, mana kau nak tu pangan itu naik nugu? Ada orang kau naik mida? Ikat lakar tak? Wan ni orang nuwai kira aku nunu nunu mida logo kahalian. Ia jangsi ada uli apa kiar tu? Amu ni mana kau na? Ah, kau na? Anu tu kau na? Wan ni? Aci apa kahalian mana? Mida itu darah mida. So, ada uli kau na? Nado bana kau na dekat pulau kau na kiri mida. Obo alamat mana bo? Nado bana kau na sih naik tu pangan itu. Ani ya roko, ni ya roko pada ra, elu salah maring lawi, mulai kena pita nege. Eh tu pak ni toko na, erai ebe fundraising. Ibu orang tidak bayar orang ebe aki aki gangakin. Eh dah kita orang la sen kisah matan. Eh roko orang mana ni lakaran orang ni mungkin orang kerok eh dah kita ri. Ijau ni orang kasih kaut Mr Abul Paul. Tolong mungkin ada kiri orang orang tapito. Eh dah kita orang la matan, ebe sen kisah to hospital matan. Iki lima kau wani, nyonya boleh ni alat ikin tu wani nampak awam mesti ada. Aku rau ni ni di di mana kau ngadi bola. Kita ngaku ni re, atuk kau tengen nak kerja tak? Nampak kamu tu kui be special unit. So ijau ni awan ni ada itu kau nak tu lima ngadi. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for fundraising. As we wait for the priest to invest, we are going to have a quick fundraising to support Saint Kisito Matanyo Hospital special unit. So at this juncture, I invite Mr. Paul Abul, to quickly tell us, to briefly tell us, what is this we are fundraising for? What is this special unit meant for? After that, then we will quickly raise our hands together and then we fundraise. Be blessed. Uh, thank you very much, Agnes. Honorable guests, once more, I welcome you. I welcome you as chairman of the Board of Governors of Matany Hospital. In a special way, we welcome the Right Honorable Prime Minister of the Republic of Uganda, Right Honorable Robina. We welcome you, and you are welcome here to Matany. If I told you this is the first time you are stepping here, you have, you have come home. Feel at home, Honorable Prime Minister. Um, I am told that the Prime Minister is leaving within 30 minutes. Okay, uh, before we start any function, we can start by singing our national anthem. Can I get some nice voice to start the national anthem? Mine is a chorus. Let 
let's let's all rise up to sing our national anthem. Awe wanda danga elinga lo ya ye kama o kirto ayoko pukan. Oh, you go. May God uphold thee. We lay our future in thy hands. You loitered free for liberty together. Now we have a program here and because the right honorable prime minister is going for other functions we shall try as much as possible to be brief. While we are waiting for the bishops and the clergy to come back, we can continue with the program of presentation of gifts and fundraising. Okay, as we wait for Mr. Abul to organize a brief history or a, a brief note about the fundraising of the special unit, we recognize the following. We recognize Honorable Martin Angarabahinduka, forgive my, my, my accent, Minister of State for Tourism. Honorable Minister Martin, you're welcome. Hey, you're welcome. You're welcome, Minister of Tourism. We also recognize the presence of Honorable Kafuzi Jackson, Deputy Attorney General. Honorable, you're welcome. We also recognize the presence of Sam Mwanda, Executive Director of Uganda Wildlife Authority. Honorable Sam, you're welcome.
Kipro Yes Christo. Uh, just we are going to do fundraising very briefly. It's not going to take long. We are we are planning for 20 minutes. And just allow us, just be patient for 20 minutes. Because when now we get a lot of commands here and there, what can I to do? Allow me to be the MC. You see, they say to be an MC is to be a mental case. So for this reason, I'm a mental case. And in charge, because I want the, the, the matters to go, the, what, the celebration to go as it should be. Right there. Akoyoda <laughs> What are you doing here? Think it's a duo duo that I'm going to go and put. Keep Mario and I, Omi. And here are another guy that I'm going to go and special unit. So I'm requesting all the Matan girls, all the Matan girls in diaspora, please come closer. In case someone has carried a very heavy bag of money, we can be able to help to carry in front here. So Matan girls, as what are you doing? I'm not doing it. So Matan girls, I'm seeing Betty. The rest, please come very fast as we give Mr. Paul Abul to continue the process. Yeah. Yeah, we... Matanya Hospital is planning to put a special case unit to build to give special treatment for people who can afford. There are also some patients who may not need to be in a public ward with others. So we plan to put that special unit here. We have been thinking of this for a number of years, all that we have been incapacitated. Kotere, haki mokea, ngi tunga ngi chie ngulua, ngi deke siya ngi chie, e chie ka dekani nye cha mita ki boye, nene alata ngi tunga, cha mita tu chie karae, e guwa di ngolo, kwenye ngolo. Bara gino ata mata manga kero na peipane, boko na hiko na, cha mita e, keri amune diyo zi ling, e cha mita e, togyele re, toduke re, e guwa di ngolo, kwenye ngolo. Ngi tunga ngi taki nta atako na atamari, ngi tunga ule yakata re ngaye na kineta, iko tere, da kitari ngolo ama tany, Ya utu. Kwa nyutu, ayo kwa kapolo ni bala aruto kini tatipi. Kwa kapolo ni gine uwe kini te president. Na ya kuunte president ya uwe kini ngezi ya nege. Ya prime minister. Ibunya abe lodi na boy wache. So we ask those who have got any gift to fundraise the construction of this special unit to come up and bring here. Uh-huh. Okay. So now, yeah, you are calling the Matany. What is your Matany? Hey. So, she had recalled this, uh, Call the, the Matani girls in diaspora. You are welcome. They are going to do big, big. Uh -huh. I can see a very big ship coming. Uh, doctor. Okay, so Matani girls, please come and we see you. You see a good one, Matani girls here. Pastor Raymond, right hello. Matani girls, come in front. So, so a young man, a young man, a young man. Ani ilipa yao alokina, ejo kwa yuko ni yele kama mono, kwa yuko na 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 yuko
what, what is, is your, your offer, offer before you, you take, take your hand to other people? people. So, so we, we are beginning to look at it. All the Christian communities, all the chapels, if we have any support, monetary, in kind, so that other people are able to see our commitment to support the special unit. To support the special unit. You can song you do a carry my young. You do a carry my young. Adi, a choir. Year day, the Rajo Labo, Yaman Ale Munia and Akina Gud, Karajo Bongo Lamono, Eddie Eddie. So, Yawn Tan Christo da Dangula Matan, Matan Gansa, come on up from the sand. Yeah, Matan Gansa, come on up from the sand. Asha, Yawn Tisha. I am a microphone. I Matan Christo, Matan Karmo Jong, a lot of things I knew to ya, where I grew up, Korea Timo de Loktai, a Kia de Kakal, Kankone, a big right of a long limb. A lot of Marco on the Yakara on the gay. Ara young with Tiny Alacara no way, Araka we pay. All look at all the Toma and maternity while I'm a time. And then Macro Mayenia Mo, a Balacola to Rangabe. Ani anga ria matanya ringa dagitare liana, anga ria mateniti, abu ge ria bagi na lore alaka ngole, ane guni ama ya kangola boko iwili amana buri, tama ra ria bagi na kemat, ane bunde tomo tuni kangole, taba la yeda e apu boko ya magara apu kani ria kuno di, ai anga kemata dagitare, ane roli anga kemata dagitare, ara ni dara kemata ngana anga ri, aku do ni anga lo matany, so alaka ra ngono woi. I'm going to allow you a pack. A year coroner, Walla Balango, hospital administration, Kidio, in Nagging on Azona, theatre, my ten to what? Keep going to try your own. A lot of no way, a better coroner, and I have a matin to put a rata, when I theatre, my ten to eat. And they are not going to be there, or to have a couple of them, and I'm not going to be there. If you don't have a good one.
Kotipe chapel, kotipe chapel, we are from there. Kotipe chapel, Abana yaga. Saint Francis, kotipe, Clara, Clara, kotipe. Do you want to talk about kotipe? Puluje lulu. Arang karo roti daloro. Kaya pa pa lahi ni owa. Tao si tolo ay dine naga. Kana dagitari makaro. ไอ้ร่างเราแล้วก็เราลุกเองดูจากนี้มาได้วัดตัวตัวนั้นนะลุกยังไงเต้ยก็ยังไม่ได้ทำอะไรยังไงก็ยังไม่ได้ทำอะ
So we shall come back. Thank you. Okay, first take a rest, we shall come back and then we continue. We recognize the presence of our minister, Honorable Governor of Bote, please you're welcome, recognize your presence. Now, uh, in our program, the program will continue later. But as of now, I will ask the hospital administrator to give the history of the hospital, and after that, we shall invite the guests of honor to speak. Then the others, you wait, you will speak after she has left. So we I invite the hospital administrator, Brother Gunta. So good afternoon, everyone. I think it is a bit difficult now to, to have the right picture of our visitors. I hope I captured some of them and the others that may excuse me. So, right, Honorable Prime Minister of Uganda, Your Excellency the Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda, right, Reverend right, Bishop uh, from Moroto Catholic Diocese, we have the Honorable Minister of uh, Karamoja, uh, we have the Honorable Minister of State for Health, General Duties, we have others which I didn't catch properly, I'm sorry. Uh, of course, you are most welcome. We have uh, our Honorable MP of Napak District, uh, John Bosco Moya and Faith Nakut, plus all the other members of Parliament from different parts of Uganda. We have the LC5 of Napak and his colleagues from other districts, the RC, the RDC, with his colleagues. We have the Commander of the 3rd Division of UPDF, representatives and other government officials, a representative from the security forces, the clergy present, all various leaders of other faith organizations, all former hospital staff and students, all the uh, uh, Jubilee guests. St. Kisito Hospital has been a reality for 20, 50 years, and it's wonderful that we celebrate together. Its beginning was very small with a group of Komboni sisters who came to Karamoja with a desire to make a difference in people's lives by showing their compassion to the sick and vulnerable. As nurses, they felt the call of following Christ in his healing service. The Catholic Church throughout the world has always been at the forefront of health care needs. At the beginnings, the start was small. Each one of us was born as a little creature, vulnerable, and in need of the care of others, most importantly of our mothers. It is through their love and their care that we have grown up and in turn can now share with others this life-giving attention and care. It is receiving that we can give. Let us not forget this important rule of life in order to keep the balance. 
Whenever I receive something, it is good to give something in turn. The simplest and most powerful answer to a gift is thanksgiving. Yes, giving thanks. And at that is what we are doing today. Thanking God, thanking all those who have struggled to bring this hospital of ours into existence and maintain it. This attitude of thanksgiving and attention to the needs of others is first and foremost towards our brothers and sisters and of course to our environment. In this century, we are becoming ever more aware how through our exploitation, our Mother Earth has become exhausted and therefore needs more care. A simple example is, when I cut a tree, let me plant another one to replace it. I have talked about small beginnings of each of us as individuals. I wish to bring to your attention that right from the beginning of our lives, we notice that we have all got the same needs which require to be fulfilled. Yes, we are all equal in the way we are created and consequently let us all behave as brothers and sisters, encountering each other with the needed reverence and respect. Though some of us have got bigger responsibilities in society, it is important always to remember that we are all made of flesh and blood, of feelings and desires, with our, with our individual needs. Let me quote St. Paul, who writes in his letter to the Romans, love each other as much as brothers and sisters should, and outdo one another in honor and respect. This atmosphere of respecting each other can be clearly felt in our hospital, and for this I am deeply grateful. For me, this mutual understanding among each other started right at the beginning of the hospital. The Komoni sisters came with their nursing skills and experience and with a heart full of love. I have met Sister Lorenziana, the first sister to arrive in Matani and the first matron of the hospital. She had been such a caring sister with a heart full of love and attentiveness and at the same time considerate and kind. There were so many other good sisters to be mentioned, like Sister Regina, Sister Fausta, they are present here with us today. Sister Miranda, Sister Palma, Sister Giovanna, they have already gone ahead of us. Then also Sister Rosario and many more. When the first young doctors from Italy, often with their spouses, arrived, and I'm glad that Dr. Marco Ro and his wife Susan are here with us, among us, maybe you get up. They are just there, yes, most welcome. The sisters made them feel at home. Over the years, this family atmosphere grew also with the local recruited nurses, the nursing students and the various cadres which were employed to the ever-growing hospital. Of course, we have got the cure and improvement of our, par of our patients at heart. It is desire to have affordable medicines, sundries and equipment available so that quality health care can be provided. The combination of making staff feel at home and providing the needs, the needed tools, plus the professional development when opportunities and means arise, make Matani unique. It is this caring attitude towards the colleagues which developed in, into a noticeable team spirit which benefits our patients and makes everyone feel inclined towards each other. Matani Hospital is like the sun in the morning, removing the darkness, bringing light into the lives of people, especially those with pain, with wounds, with fever, or with little strength because of sickness and hunger. Before I continue, let, let me, me now introduce to you some of our current team members by requesting them 
to briefly get up from their seats when their names are heard. Dr. John Bosco Zubuga, <coughs> our current serving medical superintendent and the longest serving medical superintendent in the history of the hospital. Komboni's sister, Paula Toraj, our principal nursing officer. Missionary sister of Mary Mother of the Church, Sister Natalie Nuru, the principal tutor. Then we have Mr. Paul Abul, our chairman, he is, he is, of the Board of Governors. Of course, I cannot mention each individual employee. Let me simply share that my heart is filled with deep gratitude on this day of Jubilee towards all of them who take on their daily duties with joy and enthusiasm. All those who support our activities, our benefactors and supporters. We thank our suppliers and above all, those who seek health service within the hospital. Our patients trusting our desire to serve them with highest care, professionalism and respect. Above all, it is the sensation that Matani Hospital is a gift from God which instills in us this impulse of being there for those in need. We dress the wound and God heals it. Let me go a bit in the history. As above mentioned, it started very small. In 1961, there was already a plan of a hospital. However, it was not uh, yet at this, the time. Government was not sure if this should be the right place. In 64, when the new Bishop of Moroto and the diocese was created, Bishop Mazzoldi, he came to and picked up again this idea of a new hospital for Karamoja. Endless letters were written. Finally, in 65, after lengthy discussions with the Ministry of Health, it was decided that the hospital should be built here in Matani area. This location was chosen because it was the most densely pop populated part of Karamoja. After much discussion with the local community, the church and Bokora County, Councillors agreed upon the site where the hospital land was given freely from the elders. And that is really tremendous, how much generous they were. Thank you. So we can give back because you have given. <laughs> the plans were drawn up and buildings were erected. I want to cut a bit short because it is too long. The initial medical buildings were opened in 68, the dispensary, 1970 maternity, 1972 male ward, female ward, surgical ward, and in 74 tuberculosis ward and x-ray department. These were financed by Miserio. The first Kuam volunteers and married doctors, Chichi Ro, the brother of Marco, and Mirella Capra arrived in 1971. The Komboni sisters continued with providing nurses, midwives, and other health-related professionals. It was with the effort of Dr. Chichi Ro and friends that a support group for the hospital was initiated in Milano and up to date is actively supporting the hospital with regular donations and financing projects. From its earliest years, Matani Hospital put a strong emphasis on primary health care. And in 74, the hospital began to train health educators. The, hosp the health educators went into the villages to educate people on about health improve hygiene, improve nutrition, and introduce new crops, trace children with malnutrition, supervise the treatment of discharged tuberculosis patients. In 1975, when there was a severe famine in the region, the health educators also helped in providing food. In 76, the hospital began to train village health workers to enhance the work of the health educators. The village health workers were also provided with some basic medicines to treat the most common diseases. In 78, the Ministry of Health and the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs signed an agreement through which Kuam would provide financial support and medical support for a number of hospitals in northern Uganda. In 1979 and 1980, these were very difficult years for the hospital and its staff. In 79, the War of Liberation led to a period of insecurity. In 1980, drought caused another severe famine. Many people died. 
In 1981, the hospital began another training program for nursing aides. A new pediatric ward was also opened. And in 82, the hospital began buildings for the nursing training school, supported with funds from the European Union and with UNICEF. 84 was a year of challenges and progress for Matani Hospital. In 1983, a fight between the Lango militia and local warriors left many of the militia dead. The army carried out punitive action to s for several months, which resulted in many deaths, villages abandoned, houses burned and looted, including the homes of hospital staff. Due to this ongoing army action, it became difficult to visit outside dispensaries and health educators, but they continued as much as possible to reach the people. Later, in the year 84, the nursing training school was opened. Mr. Rudolf Oryang, I don't know if he's around, he has been the long serving in our school, joined the hospital as a principal tutor. For the first time, the hospital was also able to hire two newly qualified Karimachong nurses, and from that time, the number of medical staff from Karimacho, from Karamocha increased. In 1989, the British midwife Sally Graham began a training program for a traditional birth attendants with the support of the district health office and later Matan. Most births were taking place in the villages. So Graham began to organizing a training program for these TBAs to improve health outcomes for the infants and their mothers. In 92, there was increasing insecurity around Matani and several direct attacks on hospital employees. Matan Hospital re re relies very much on financial support from outside. But in 93, this support began to decrease. At the same time, patient numbers were increasing, recurrent expenditures were rising, and the government stopped the importation of donated drugs from overseas. In 1994, the medical superintendent, Comboni brother Dr. Daniele Giusti, wrote to donors predict predicting financial troubles ahead. To cut costs, the salaries of the staff were reduced, personnel went on strike, some left permanently. By 1995, there were only two medical officers remaining at the hospital. Kuam assisted by sending another extra patriot doctor. In spite of this assistance, the hospital's financial situation remained worrying. In 96, the government introduced new living wage salary and these increased wages almost brought the hospital to a financial collapse. Fortunately, the Danish embassy intervened with emergency financial support. Still in 97, the hospital faced the challenge of meeting the recurrent costs. The hospital administrator initiated an advocacy campaign and together with other faith-based health facilities, requested government for more funding. The government, through the Minister by then of Health, Honorable Dr. Crispus Kionga, started supporting private not-for-profit hospitals uh, with primary health care conditional grant. Cattle rates were in the late 90s rampant, and many people lost their lives and livestock. The hospital was not spared. As its one year prior newly appointed administrator, Komori brother Günther Nerich, me, was seriously injured in an ambush about 10 kilometers away from the hospital. Due to the strong teamwork within the hospital management, the work continued well until he returned six months later after his treatment in Germany. In the year 2000 and 2001, the support from Choyai, a support group from Italy, uh, began also from Stark, Scotland. In July 2003, the first Karima Chung medical doctor, Dr. James Lemokol, the current uh, DHO of NAPAC, was contracted. And in 2007, he began uh, as the first Karima Chung medical director. The hospital continued building several staff houses. The second pediatric ward was inaugurated in 2010. And I could go on with the history. It seems now we have to come to a conclusion. But I wanted to at least to tell you the contribution of the hospital to the district. It is a district hospital, Donapak, a de facto referral facility 
head of Bokra Health Subdistrict invests 90 million for its running of the health subdistrict. It does several health trainings for the nursing training school, internship training, staff upgrading, uh, and it has a treatment center for multi-drug resistant tuberculosis, the only one of a private not-for-profit hospital in Uganda. The government contributes to Matani Hospital, and I wish that this is heard by those who have uh, possibilities to assist. Government supports the hospital with PSC conditional grant by 10.5% for the income. In 2020-21, the hospital experienced a painful reduction. The hospital has seven seconded government staff from 250 and more staff. It also receives drugs for tuberculosis and malaria. The hospital also receives vaccines, also COVID-19, which can be got here. Nakasero and Bale Blood Bank supply blood for the transfusion of our patients. The hospital, of course, follows the Ugandan health policy and selected government officials are part of the Board of Governors. The hospital has a number of future plans. One was, was already said, a specialized care unit, strengthening its specialized clinic services like gynecology, surgery, neonatal care, maintaining the nursing and midwife training school and to introduce diploma courses, capacity building for its hospital staff, upgrading of the oxygen plant in this time where it's so much needed. We need 130 million for it and the challenges. As you can see, the hospital has plenty of future plans. Many more could be added. However, all these may be compromised. I was not sure if on um, such a day it is appropriate to address the biggest threat, not only to Matan, but to other big faith-based hospitals in Uganda, namely its imminent insolvency. I have struggled for many years I'm here since 98, for our hospital with a painful heart to say this is the most difficult year we are experiencing. I foresee that it is not possible to manage and continue this wonderful service which has been generously offered since 50 years without a greater support from government. Our services are highly subsidized. You look, you come to see the villages where people come from. They don't have more to offer, to give, but we can give. For each 10,000 shilling which the hospital needs to put into services, on average, the patients pay 1,500 shilling. shilling. In, In children's, children's ward, I need 10,000 shilling, I get, I get from the mothers 220 shilling. Government, government supports with 1,100 shilling for 10,000 shilling. It is 11%. Another source of income to cover the gap comes from health programs funded through KUAM and other health projects, and more than 50% from donors overseas. Donor funding is declining. Government funding has reduced greatly, and yet the number of patients is increasing. You come and see the world full. More than 100% better occupancy rate. Other, Other costs incurred were due, due to COVID-19 pandemic by increased need of infectious control measures and, and additional staff. staff. Other, Other hospitals, hospitals reduced staff we have increased. The, the hospital has got unpaid bills with joint medical store for drugs. Our oxygen plant needs to be upgraded so that we can care for our patients. All these challenges are known by UCMP and the Ministry of Health. A letter, a letter concerning, concerning these issues was, was written to His Excellency, the President, President of Uganda. Uganda. I, was I was informed that His Excellency has, has instructed the Ministry of Health to look, to look into, into the matter. It is, it is mine and, and the hospital management team's hope, hope that, that the issue be addressed, addressed urgently, else the, the jubilant celebration will end in a few weeks in a, in a big disappointment. As, As people, people of hope, hope however, we trust, we trust that, that solutions may, may be found. found. I, I conclude, today, today we, rejoice. we rejoice. We rejoice with and for all those who have encountered the Lord within the walls of the hospital. 
We know, we know that, that often, often we have made this encounter more, more difficult with our, with our shortcomings and, and fragility. We, we ask pardon for it. Above, above everything else, we desire, we desire to remain faithful to the task entrusted to us by the Church of serving the sick. Once again, we are grateful to all those who made and who will make this task possible. Thank you. Now, thank you very much, brother. Um, I had said that immediately after that we invite the Prime Minister, but uh, I've been informed that uh, uh, the program should come as it happens there, but people who are called should take short time. For example, when we asked the LC5 Chairman of Park to welcome and introduce other district chairpersons, other district chairpersons will not speak. Just mention your name. When, when we invite Honorable Fidel to introduce the members of Parliament, we just mention their names, no speech. At least, the Prime Minister said, let her not leave before, before hearing who are, who are here. here. So, so I, I take this, this opportunity to invite the LC5 in a pack to, to briefly welcome uh, the people here and, and introduce the, the district chairpersons who are here. here. I'm, I'm told, told most chairpersons have gone for the Ulga meeting and, and they have got their biases. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Board of Governors. Uh, let me take this opportunity to thank the CEO of the hospital. Uh, as I stand here right now, I would like to, to welcome and recognize the Right Honorable Prime Minister of the Republic of Uganda, the Honorable Ministers, the Honorable Members of Parliament from Karamoja, the RDCs, the District Chairpersons of Karamoja, District Councillors from Karamoja, that is Moroto and Kotido, the District Executives of NAPAC, the District Officials of NAPAC and Moroto, I also recognize the presence of our Mayor, Matan, plus other mayors of the town council. Your Lordship, Bishop of Moroto Diocese, you're most welcome. Your Lordship, Bishop of Contido, you're most welcome. Security officials who are here today, you're most welcome. All staffs of Matan Hospital, ladies and gentlemen, in your various capacities, you're most, most welcome to my time today. Uh, before I go further with my remarks, I would like to introduce myself. I am Honorable Priska Luyor, the Vice Chairperson Napak District. I represent our Chairman, who is for Olga elections, plus the speakers, and I believe they are on the way coming. We send greetings and wishing you a very warm welcome to Matan. Before I continue with my remarks, I would like to recognize all the district officials, sorry, uh, all the district chairpersons in Karamoja who are here today. In your various capacities, you will just stand and, and we recognize you. And then also the district councillors in their various capacities. Can we please recognize you in the corners where you are? 
Ahí se tiene Morocco y Tierra Santa. We also have the FC3s. The Chapasons. As a Tahira, we wish to recognize you as well. Thank you. Honorable, right Honorable Prime Minister. Matan. On a park district is actually a very wide uh, district in Karamoja. As we commemorate and celebrate the Golden Jubilee, as the CEO spoke, Matan Hospital was actually born in 1970, and we are very happy that the hospital has actually supported the people of Napak and also people of Karamoja at large. And also looking at outside, for example, in Kenya, we have uh, patients that, come, that are referred to Matan Hospital. Right, Honorable uh, Prime Minister, when you look at Matan Hospital, it is actually being over 200 staffs. And these 200 uh, staffs, most especially doctors and nurses, 50% are the natives of Karamoja, which is actually a blessing to us. And I encourage, I encourage our mothers, our parents, to actually take our children to school so that we would actually have over 100% of the natives that are working in the hospital. Uh, I actually want to thank Matani Hospital for the big role in health promotion in Karamoja and beyond. Matani is more than a referral, for sure. And when you look at Napak district, right, Prime Minister, we actually do not have a hospital. We have our health facilities, which are six health center threes and two ten health center twos. And we hope that we and we hope that. Uh, out, Out of this, this we, we, we also, also elevate the health center for that is in Iriri, so that we can also have our health center for in the park. So we have two constituencies which deserve to have hospitals. Uh, I think I, think I, would I will not say, say really, really much because, because of, of the time, time. but uh, Honorable Right Prime Minister, when we look at Matan, Matan actually receives over 500 million uh, annually, which is actually minimal. And we, there therefore, we hope, hope that the government increases the funds because of high demand in Karamoja and most especially Matan Hospital. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. May I call upon the RDC of NAPAC to introduce his colleagues. So, people of NAPAC, some of you may not have known your RDC. That is the RDC coming. Your Excellency, the Nausea, the representative of the Pope in Uganda, the Right Honorable Prime Minister, 
Olo proto kwa observed. My name is Achiga Mweso Moto. I wish to add my voice on what the vice chairperson of the district has said by welcoming you to this part of the country. I'll have two things to say in two minutes. The Bible has a very powerful statement which tells us in the whole world that if you keep a city and God doesn't bless it, for you who keep a city, you labor for nothing. The motto for our country has a powerful message that for God and our country. Our country, Uganda, is attached to God. And whatever you are saying here, you are really implementing the words which are in the motto of our country. Finally, where the, the right honorable prime minister is, my words are short, because she speaks for all of us. So I want to thank you by ending here and reminding you that we have ably broken the rules of COVID by saying we should keep a distance. You can see by yourselves. We have not kept a distance. But I want to remind you that, dear Ugandans, you must go for vaccination. I want to thank you by ending here. God bless you. Those who came from far, we pray that when you go back, you go back safely. God bless all of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very good timekeeper. If it was in school, we could make you perfect timekeeper. Okay. Um, Odongo ang adi kidiyo, alto mato luro luro ngi miya karobong lukiyer dani ay binita ko talo ay ngul. Ina polo ngi na balay o kapolo na yura priska ay be. E bar teka na pagkanta mato tamuterka ay doktora matani. Abu tolo mong ay dalu jau ni ay doktora matani ang alok karuwa ay marikere ay ngule kudiyo ko ay ngule million yo. Tama ngi mong ni right honorable prime minister ay mato tamuterka ay matani dang. Una apolo ko na bungo tolo mong na. Tolo mong ay ay kara ay kapolo ay disi tema. Ay kudiyo ko na keng. Na ito nata na inumunuwa na tapano ko, kaya ata munit ebe yerka ede kong le boko la lobreta. Ata miani boyo on ko naga kela jara ono way. Alta na ginodrika on abto ng lobreta alakara. Honorable Faith Nakut, can you come and introduce your colleagues? Can I request all the members of parliament who are here to stand up and come here for people to see them? All the members of parliament, I do not have the capacity to introduce the ministers. The minister for Karamoja Affairs will introduce the ministers. But my colleagues, the members of parliament who are here, you come and, and stand in front here so that the mem the, my people can acknowledge your presence. I will mention your name and your constituency, and you will go and sit. Honorable John Bosco Moya, aka Yokon, the MP for Bokora, the host whom we are, who is hosting us here now. Alakara Noi, aka Yokon. Honorable Kala Kevin Ojinga, the woman MP for Palisa District. My good friend. Honorable Barton Ben Koryang, the MP for Dodoth West. Thank you very much. Ben. The Honorable Frank Adome, the MP for Moroto Municipality. Thank you very much, Frank. Later, I will mention about you. The Honorable Feta Geoffrey, the MP for Aivu East in Arua City. Thank you very much, Honorable Feta, for honoring our invitation. The Honorable Awa Sylvia Vicky, the MP for Nabilatuk District, District Woman Representative. Thank you very much for coming. The Honorable 
Wanda Richard, the MP for Bunkoho Central in Bugisu subregion. Thank you very much for coming. The Honorable Musa Noah, the MP for Koboko. Thank you very much, Honorable Musa. The Honorable Locha Peter Ken Emanik Ekorikamar, the MP for Bakora East. We are delighted by your presence, honorable colleagues. I will allow you to go and sit. I appreciate. Even though my job was to introduce you, the other, the other, the other people I must introduce, we have the honorable Namoy Stella, she is here. She told me to first try this position. Thank you, Mama, for supporting and for blessing the ceremony. We have um, Gilbert Agaba. He is a candidate for the East African Legislative Assembly. Thank you very much for coming. I have greetings from the MPs of the East African Legislative Assembly. They are greeting you. I will announce their money later. I have greetings from the other colleagues who were unable to come. The, the chairperson of the Karamoja Parliamentary Group, he was unable to come this morning because he was chasing after cattle thieves who raided more than a thousand cows from Nabilatuk district last night. My other colleagues, they are engaged, but they, they are with us in this ceremony and they appreciate, they recognize the role that Matany Hospital has played in bridging that gap of healthcare in Karamoja. They recognize it is not just about Napak, but about the entire region, including about the neighboring districts, the people who are served here come from all over the country. They are Ugandans. This hospital has become a rescue haven. When we were moving during the COVID relief assessment, the assessment period, the people who told our team that God is in Namatani Hospital, that's what they said, that when they come here, they feel the presence of the Lord and they feel healed. So we are happy for that, that God decided to reside in Napak district. It's very good. It is a hospital that trains highly skilled nurses. If you go many parts of the country and you find a nurse who can prick the nerve of your, ch the, 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 your child once to get the vein, once, they don't make a mistake, that nurse was trained here. St. Kizito Hospital. It is the biggest private employer in Karamoja with employees of more than 200 people who are taking care of many households. It is the biggest ambulance provider in the region. It is the reason Matan Town Council exists. I'm not going to explain everything about Matan Hospital because I, I'm, I was not supposed to speak anyway. However, what bothers my heart today is what he, the CEO, Brother Gunther, shared here and said, even though we are celebrating this wonderful service of 50 years of rescuing, rescuing the, the lives, lives of, of people, people who, who wouldn't, wouldn't have, have otherwise been rescued, even though we are celebrating that, we worry that the celebration could last only a day or a few weeks because of the liquidity challenges the hospital is grappling with arising from the COVID season, because the hospital that heavily relies on donor funding and then the donors had to reduce their funding because of COVID. And, and then, then the emergence of insecurity that burdened this hospital with gun victims, wounded people, everybody who gets wounded in Karamoja is treated here. 
No other hospital can testify the contrary. So the hospital has really struggled. So to come and witness this celebration, it pains my heart too that we might close down. Why, if we were able to, to receive these good services, let's also allow the next generation to receive these services. And so, when we get back to the fundraising later, let's do whatever we can. My prayers to government. If it is not possible to upgrade the status into a referral so that it receives a, a funding commensurate to a referral, then at least help the hospital to pay the staffing costs because that is the biggest that our user fees cannot manage. Also, we want these people to continue being employed because the moment this hospital closes, a, a bigger portion will, uh, the economy will suffer. Open up the funding opportunities for Karamoja beyond the funding with the Italian cooperation the support we're getting from the Italian cooperation for the entire region is not adequate. You Karamoja missed the U gift because we thought the Italian grant was adequate. Now it is not because it's only going to upgrade a small, to take care of a, a small portion. That's my appeal that we open up so that we, Karamoja can get funding for other health, for other health facilities. And then to development partners and everybody who is listening to me, if you are looking for where you can put money and then you, the impact of that money is felt, it benefits the common man, this is where you can put that money. And then God will bless you. I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to introduce my colleagues. Wait, wait. I ask you to invite the Minister for Karamoja to come and introduce other ministers. The Minister of uh, the Minister of Health is represented here by the State Minister of Health in charge general duties. The Honorable Minister Anifa Kawoya, you are welcome. Thank you so much, uh, my honorable colleague, the woman MP. Uh, right honorable prime minister, the honorable ministers, my colleagues present here, all members of parliament present here, and uh, my lord, the bishops and the entire college, and all the Christians that are present here, uh, staff from the minister of health that, that have come here, here. Accompanying me, if you can stand up for recognition in your different capacities. All district officials, government officials here, mindful of time, protocol observed. Uh, I bring warm greetings from the Minister of Health, Dr. Jenna Cheng, who is here with us in the spirit as we celebrate this golden jubilee. Right Honorable Prime Minister, today's theme as we celebrate this golden jubilee, we dress the wound and heal it. Mindful of time and your other duty that you had performed, I would not wish to go through what others have already said. I only wish to recognize and appreciate the work that has been done by the board and management of Matane Hospital, of course, with the church. Thank you so much. As a ministry, we are so grateful. I know you have gone through a long journey, a journey that you are celebrating today, a journey that we have challenges and difficulties. As the same time, these challenges from when you started your journey, you have managed to accomplish some. And the challenges normally, they are turned into opportunities. I want to thank you for having turned them into opportunities. 
These challenges can, however, be addressed and some have been addressed by the government of Uganda. The restructuring of the Uganda sector system, as the right honorable prime minister will say. And some of them, the government is still trying to address these challenges, of course, through the Ministry of Health, where it commits to providing the lives of citizens by ensuring supplementary alternative health service system, like this one at St. Kizito Matan Kane Hospital. Some of the partnership that as a ministry, as a government through the Ministry of Health that has been embarked on, Government as Minister of Health is supporting the hospital, right honorable Prime Minister, and pre everyone present here with the funds, provision of essential medicines, as you are already aware. Many more health care workers have been recruited and will continue to be recruited. Furthermore, the ministry has created this hospital as a medical internship center with the target to meet the increasing health care demands of the population, the Karamoja sub-region, as has been said by uh, uh, the other executive director and those who spoke before me. Under the Karamoja infrastructure development too, the government will soon provide the fully equipped ambulance to the hospital as predicted by Mama Janet Kim, second first lady. It will construct etc. three housing houses for the health workers. And uh, the ministry is also supporting some Italian NGOs to access etc. grant. In conclusion, right honorable Prime Minister, I know you have a lot since you are our leader and uh, our, 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 our team prayer that I wouldn't want to take your time. And uh, since I know that the Minister in charge of Karamoja region is so conversant with what is happening, I want to call upon every health care worker and wish to thank everybody and the Ministry for your efforts and the enthusiasm you displayed and you are still displaying in this period of pandemic. We know you have suffered much, you have taken much, but you have given it. Thank you so much and we look forward that you continue giving these services and of course we want to say as a minister and as a government we are sorry for those who have gone to meet their Lord in the service of their duties due to the pandemic. May their souls rest in eternal peace. Right Honorable Prime Minister, as I conclude, on behalf of the Ministry and on my own behalf, in interest and in note of how the people of Napak and the Karamoja as a region observe the SOPs. <laughs> now that I've seen I'm sure you are going to observe them more than what you have done today. Today we are celebrating, but I want to tell you that please do observe the OSCO peace, the presidential directives. COVID is for real. Save your life. Save someone's life. Let us, all of us, observe the OSCO. Once again, thank you so much for this celebration for God and my country. I take the honor to invite my senior sister, the Minister in charge of Karamoja. You are most welcome. <laughs> The Right Honourable Prime Minister, colleagues, ministers, 
colleagues, members of parliament, the church led by the Apostolic News Show, all people of Karamoja, all protocol observed. Mata. So my name is um, Dr. Kitutu Merigoretti. I'm a woman member of parliament for Manafa district and the minister for Karamoja affairs. I have a very short speech, but before I say that, I will request my colleagues ministers who are here to introduce themselves because these are people who control money. So I want them to speak because I, I have to follow them and the one of them has already pledged. So they will speak for themselves. The Right Honourable Prime Minister, the Papua Nuncio, my colleagues, ministers here present, the Honourable Members of Parliament, Ladies and gentlemen, I am called Ongalo Obote Clement Kenneth. I am the member of parliament for Kalaki County, which is also Kalaki District. And I am the Minister of State in charge of Teso Affairs. I am very glad to be here today. For me, coming to Kangole is like coming home. I was, um, I was a student in Moroto High School in 1986, and we used to come and play football in Kangole. So to be in Matany is to come home, actually, for me. Um, I am just impressed by how it has grown from what I used to know in 1986. And I'm indeed impressed by the words of uh, spoken here by the person who gave us the history of uh, Matang uh, when he, 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 he quoted the small beginnings, reminded me of the book of Zachariah, chapter 4, verse 10. Do not underestimate the days of small beginnings. The Lord likes them. And indeed, that is why my time is what it is today. Honorable Prime Minister, Excellence, you show protocol observed. My name is Peter Guang, Member of Parliament for Ngariam County, Katakwe District. I am happy I'm here on behalf of the people of Katakwe. I'll give a pledge of five million because my people come here. My sister, Honorable Nakut, will follow it up. Right Honorable Prime Minister, after Buganda, coming to Karamoja, to do the work you've instructed me to do. I thank you so, so much. Right Honorable Prime Minister, the Papua Nuncio, everyone present, good afternoon. I'm called Kafuzi Jackson Kargaba. I'm a member of parliament for Chaka South, Chegegua District in the Toro Kingdom, in the western part of Uganda. And I am the Deputy Attorney General. I'm happy to be here. Uh, the, the right honorable prime minister and the leadership of the church my name is bahinduka mugara martin i'm the state minister for tourism i'm happy to be here i've come with the team the executive director or mr sam please i think you've seen him i've come with one of uh, our staff from the ministry of tourism mr okirol and, and of course, uh, your members of parliament have been to our office. We understand the challenges within the Karamoja region to do with human wildlife conflict and boundaries and the rest. And I want to assure you that we shall be here very soon. The minister has also been raising them to see how we uh, resolve these issues so we can all live uh, harmoniously. So we understand, expect us very soon. Thank you so much. Uh, the Ministry of Tensor Affairs will uh, contribute 
3 million shillings towards the Right Honourable Prime Minister, I have been uh, encouraged that when this ambulance is coming, it must come with fuel from my own pocket, one million. That's my prayer. Hey, sorry, I was also leaving without getting the blessing. I also leave a pledge uh, of one million shillings that you cannot go good for us. Okay, I, I believe I have to do as my colleagues have done. I'll give faith in a good two million shillings. So thank you very much. Uh, before I say a word, as a minister of Karamoja, the vice president, Honorable Jessica Alupo, sent a message through my office. And she told me that she's a student of Kangole Girls. Yes. Yes. She also told me that she's a neighbor. Yes. from Katapi, yes. and she has, she's a big beneficiary of Matanyi Hospital. Yes. So she sent me with a speech, which I will hand over to Honorable Nakut as a message <laughs> complimenting all the benefits that she received from Karamoja, and also gave me an envelope of 5 million Uganda shillings. Now, as a minister of Karamoja, I'm very delighted to be here. We are working very hard as a ministry together under the supervision of the Prime Minister. A lot is going to be done in Karamoja. My only appeal is we need peace. Peace in Karamoja. That is my wish. I'm praying. During the security disarmament, I think the division commander is there. But the apostolic mission and the bishops, I think we also need spiritual disarmament. Because after we have disarmed the arms, I think also our spirit, we need to disarm and have the Holy Spirit within us. That's when we have perfect peace. I am Mary Goretti. I, you know, my name hails from Italy. And I will walk in Karamoja praying, and I know peace will come to me. Now, because we don't have much time, we don't really talk much. I now take the honor to invite the Right Honorable Prime Minister, who is standing in for His Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda. But before she comes, right on the put, you will pick five million from my office. Yes. And as she comes, we have the mothers from Karamoja, part of our culture. She has to be anointed with some clothing. Yes. The mothers are going to do that. Yes, she will speak from the other side. So the, the mothers will anoint her with our, our design. Uh, the mothers are there, together with the other ministers who are accompanying her. The UPDF is a, is a beneficiary of Matanya Hospital and we are contributing as a division 500,000.
Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Excelencia de apost Apostólico Nuncio, de Bishop Mororo Diocese, de Bishop Cotito Diocese, de Honorable Ministers present, our members of Parliament, ladies and gentlemen. Oyokasi Dadong, Mata Dadong, one of the ministers, I am here to represent the President of the Republic of Uganda. Greetings and best regards from the President of the Republic of Uganda, Yoweri Kaguta Museven. The President of Uganda has given me a speech, and I think I don't need to add words, I'll just do the speech. 
because he's the one I'm representing. Or maybe before I go to his speech, I wanted to answer a few issues that have been raised. Then I go to his speech. Government of Uganda, under the wise leadership of Yoweri Kabuta Museveni, has been supporting the hospital with a PHC non wage grant of 560 million annually. Government of Uganda has been supporting the hospital with the medicines and supplies from joint medical stores of 300, and six, of 300 million annually. Government of Uganda has been supporting this health facility or hospital with seven health workers. Now, the Minister of Health is going to support this hospital with an ambulance. The President is aware that this hospital needs support. He's aware. I have just talked to Dr. Omona and I will mention that contribution at the end of his speech. Prime Minister's office has come with support of 10 million. I'll start for the people to hear. I want to take a Prime Let me go to the speech of the President. I'll read it verbatim. I want to thank the leadership of St. Chizito Hospital, Matani, for ex extending a warm invitation to me as you celebrate your Golden Jubilee. I would have loved to join you in person. Thank God for his landmark achievement. However, I have delegated the right Honorable Prime Minister to represent me function. In a special way, I want to commend the Catholic Diocese of Moroto for playing a central role in providing quality access to medical services to the people of Karamoja region and the neighboring districts through the establishment of St. Kisto Hospital, Matai. I thank God and I thank the church and some faith-based based organizations for their continued leadership and partnership with government in the provision of social services like education, health care, and housing. This is proof that the religious leaders are as much concerned about the physical well-being of the believers and they are about their souls. Besides preparing the faithful for the kingdom of heaven, the church is equally mandated with the responsibility of uh, ensuring that the believers take care of their welfare here on earth. Therefore, it is a sin to neglect your bodies and allow to be attacked by diseases, hunger, poverty, ignorance, etc. It is written in the Bible in Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19, that you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit. Who is in you, whom you have received from God, 
you are not you are that is this is a command to all believers to take care of their bodies because they are divine gifts from God. This is why besides fasting, prayers, our Lord Jesus Christ also healed the physical sickness of the blind, the lame, the deaf, it is sin. Therefore, I am happy that the Catholic Diocese of Morocco is following the footsteps of Jesus Christ by providing health care services to the people of this part of the country. A health, a health and educated population is the foundation for building a productive workforce for the country. Through promotion and campaigns, the NRM government was able to wipe away the killer diseases like polio, measles, tuberculosis, etc. However, there is a new threat of non-communicable diseases, NCDs, which are largely about lifestyle. These are diseases due to inactivity coupled with overeating. <laughs> the good news is that these non-communicable diseases are easy to prevent. One simply has to change lifestyles by exercising more and watching their diet. The increase in the cases of cancer, diabetes, and heart diseases, especially in the urban areas, is because people eat too much and do not exercise. I call upon all leaders to carry, out, to carry the message of sensitizing about lifestyle, of sensitizing about lifestyle change, to curb these new killer diseases among our people. Since the start of 2020, Uganda has waged successful war against the deadly coronavirus disease. Given our previous experience of fighting epidemics like Ebola, HIV, and AIDS, ETC, government was able to rally Ugandans to adopt safe and tough guidelines to curb the spread of the virus. By so doing, we are able, by so doing, we are able to avert the occurrence of so many deaths as was observed elsewhere, especially in Europe and America. I continue to ask you to follow the guidelines of the Ministry of Health on coronavirus. Wear your masks, wash your hands frequently, and maintain social distance. I want to re echo my message of wealth creation at household level. Having prioritized electricity, roads, schools, hospitals, peace and security, the NRM government has established a solid foundation for Uganda's development and social economic transformation. However, the development alone is not enough, though it must come first. Development is a collective good for everybody. But wealth and jobs belong to individuals, families, groups, or companies. There should be uh, there should not be spectators in the drive towards increasing household incomes to make sure we eliminate subsistence farming. The four major sectors for creating wealth and jobs are industrialization, services, and ICT. I put upon help our people 
identify which of these sectors best shoots them. Government will provide funding for organized groups engaged in productive wealth and job creation ventures. Finally, I wish you a happy Golden Jubilee celebrations and pray greater successes years ahead. Thank you. Honorable members, as I was uh, seated there, when I saw people contributing, I called the State House. And they told me that the president is going to send a contribution of 50 million this week. Tanya knows that one. Apalagevi, like, Ania Agui Darama, the PV K president, Abidam Seven, Tama Molo, El Mokinevi, AKA Kintingevi, a doctor in law, a millionaire, a Tomun Khan. If the invitation had indicated that there was a fundraising function, I would have come with the money. But uh, the invitation did not, the invitation was not clear. <laughs> so I want once again to thank you so much for God and my country. I request for a photo. With the no so and the, the bishops and the clergy. Just the photo and then I rush. I have another function in the, in Katapui. Then we shall go back to Kampala. Thank you so much. <laughs> Right Honorables, Prime Minister, Robin Anabanja, Karagi Dakar, Ah, Christo, and Kwai Wunpei, Kwan Kakui, Kabada, you're on your lotto, Eli Dimonara made your picture, Ankar Goro Kegelevia, and you're on the book of the Katakui. Mama Kabi, you're on the 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 Kabi, you so I need a copy here, looking at the Rua Baraka. Talk back and I have to pay you one of the 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 you are doing group level Moses. I am not a group of people. I am not a group of people. I am Yes, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the Oi,
que han agarrado más que todos los años. He roto la yoga en Agma. Alamán, no hay una moto. Ah, vale, porque no tenemos ni un chico. 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 Porque no tenemos ni un Tolong tuh naik lo baru baru boleh orang ikut dia. Ini perlu orang nak kita yang tukar orang yang dah perlu. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We are going for an interlude, and after the interlude, we will resume as we requested ourselves that we shall resume the fundraise for at least more ten minutes. We are still on time, ten to twenty minutes. If the spirit leads us to thirty minutes, why not? It's our hospital, it's our special unit. So we we'll request everybody to be patient for that time for us to really give back to our hospital. So we are requesting after the interim from local Moses, we will resume our fundraise for 30 minutes and then we will, we will proceed with the program as guided. We are still on time. So let's not worry, let's just relax. <laughs> Patung katunga, patung katunga. Di Yes, it is. We are 
ये वाली ऊपर ना Yes, if you have, if you have the gift there, you can prepare. You come, you bring it on here. And this time, God has, you can bring where the lalira is dancing. Yes, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the
now in Parish and Saint and, and Matani Hospital, they have a common denominator, and that denominator is our common saint. Nawe Parish is named after St. Kizito and the same to our hospital Matan. I bring you here the contribution from our Christians of Nawe Parish. They gave, they collected 1,500,000 shillings only. Thank you very much, Padre Father Paul Mole, the parish priest of Nawe, St. Kizito, Nawe Parish is contributing one million five hundred. Which is how much? A pay million. I'm a million can. In your bond, I'm going to talk about the dollar now. Oi. Kikare kidi watu wana. Kikare yatera na revolution. Hey, punto rubi na. Punto. Punto. Hey, kita sa. Ibo ko punto. Kita mo punto. Ya
Mami, no, you have given these people benefits from the hospital. She has always said to them because you are supporting this fund race. I'm looking you are to successfully contract with the special units. Hey, I'm not going to get a phone call. I'm 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 going to get a Kuriya bogo ni mpya pressure, ani dema yato ya kuriya bogo ni mpya. Aisi na kuni itana, itana na matrasi ya pogo lopo tupere tena kama, itana na kita ndani. Yule ni pogo, ipele ni yale muri pele kwenye na tupanga kuro kula ada. Jamaa yong, kera kita ndani, yale muri yake rende. Yule muri ni chenda ni yare, kera matrasi kuri na nanga ya dapa na kera kita. Ipele ni yala tupanga, ane yawa, yale muri yake nyong, yale muri yake nanga, ane yawa, yale muri yake kuri muda. Yule pogo ni yale pogo kwa wana, ena kwa ena kila dapa kita ndani. Pogo na dema kiri ni yake kapi. Tetapi yang kiri, yang mana kiri, yang mana kiri ahi, kalau nak kiri ada kita. Jadi boleh boleh kula ada, kula ada kerja macam ni, kula ada kerja macam ni. Kalau nak kita tu yang kerja ada kita. Agak orang ikai, agak orang nama Malaysia. Eh yang ini baru dah, elah. Ibu kan naik di peneri, di peneri yang ada teman terlay. Ayo ma, agil ni anak di peneri kuda. Eh, tu korang ini punya kian ama, ini di peneri yang ada. Alah kalau no OMC wiji, anak tu korang ada orang tengah peri, papa, ebe. His Excellency, the Apostolic Minister to Uganda, I come out of the road, I did the road, I did Ani rekakin, yang perlu kita mari hati muzi anak anak, hati muzi orang ama, hati lo dia nak nak, eh, tuh tuh ni kiri, apa, ulu cek, ni cek tu mana bentuk apa nak, kerja ni tanya orang ni, lo baik nak tolong tu lah, kerja tu beri aku bapak, beri aku bapak yang perlu kita ada, eh baik nak kita tu jadi, eh yang kita ada jadi ni, ini orang kita tu tolong kita nak hati pun ada, ini tu tuan ini, tapi orang ini orang kita ni ada ni, eh ni lebih ni apa lah nak pilih ni. Eh, tolong tu nanti kita tuan ini. Kita nak apa? Kita lalu tu nak forest. Napa mak bapa nak bagi? Kuri aku bapa mak. Mak memang kita juga kita kita tuan kuli kita nak kita kita juga kuri. Ini kita cuma kita ni sendiri alam ini. Adi orang kau yang terutai. Aku tak nak. Eh, bantu kuli cerita. Mama pergi cerita. Okay, alam kan tu orang yang si wiji. Tak ada orang lupa, ada orang lupa nak pergi. Kau tu. Ladies and gentlemen, time for us to yeah. perform a small ritual here, led by Mr. Paul Labour. This is the best, uh, His Excellency the Minister of Uganda. As we request uh, Mr. Paul Labour to take our way to the press. I can handle the door. 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 Jadi mau orang tu marah, mau dia orang gili kau dia orang orang mana mahu dia kipi. Dan dia mau orang tu dia orang 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 murai, orang orang murai. Oh pelajar ni ada pelajar, ha? Dia kan dia kipi pelajar yang sangat marah. Dia orang tinggi kipi, dia orang yang boleh. Orang orang tinggi 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 uh, Your Excellency, as we welcome you to Karamoja, we'd like to make you look muted to Karamoja by dressing you the Karimojo way. Some of the items we are going to dress you or give you are symbolic to pastoral life. The Karimojo are pastoralists. And for you, as a pastor, you look after the souls. So that's the symbol of the things that we are going to offer you. 
The first thing is to dress you with Asoka, a sheet. You have seen our young people who are here with this. When they go for pasture and when they become old, they have them sons. When night gets them, they put them on that sheet. So this is the sheet we are going to give you. Hey, the stick is simple for all pastoralists. When they are looking after their animals, they move with the sticks to drive animals. So this stick is almost shaped like also the man the, the stick bishops put <laughs> carry. So it is still a symbol that you are a shepherd of Christians. <laughs> Still being a, a shepherd in the pastures, you're very tired, you want to rest, there's no stone to sit on, there's no flat ground to sit on, you carry your stool, you just put it down and you sit and rest. So this one is also one of the symbols in Karamoja we offer you. Okay, thank you very much. That's the little symbol I want to offer you. Ushers, 
choir and other representatives from other parishes will go to the teaching center. The final place for eating will be the nursery school. Community and Matan Town Council Community. Matan DC, Ambra Kololo, then the other one are at the area, the Ryan Nasare School. So I think you're not going to go, and the one about the Hagino to go to the Nero, the one Niki Muria, near a Nenil Garopia or Gira to Yente. You got the Ella Lata, you know, program. I was presentation of some gifts to long serving staff. Of Matani Hospital. But before that, I'm informed that uh, there's a gift for Brother Gunta. So, Brother Gunta, will you come in front here? There's a, a gift for you. Brother Gunta. Thank you. Eh, Maliki of Brother Gunta, I am not getting a kitchen, but you are going to go. You don't look like we are going to go. Hey, you tell him, Colin. Hey, the girls, Matani girls, where are you? Matani girls, where are you? Come and get around. Okay. This gift is from Tapach Parish for the hospital. Tapach Parish, thank you very much. I out the I need I need I need to get the doctor in me. I need to get the doctor in me. I need to Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I see some gifts here. Some of the clutch. So, Aran, Aran, and Ponto from Team Goya, Eka Yakonia Bokora. Ebalatin <laughs> Group. 
I wish to thank the members of the Kamenya Parliamentary Group for supporting the hospital. You remember that our contribution was 9,350,000 and we deposited 8,100,000 to the account. Now we have here 1,250,000, which we will hand over on behalf of the Karamoja Parliamentary Group. Members, we thank you very much. I said earlier when I was introducing the MPs that I would introduce, a, I would say something more about Honorable Frank. He was the biggest contributor in the Karamoja Parliament Group with 3 million shillings. Thank you, Honorable Frank. The area MPs had already contributed something which needs to be recognized. Thank you, Honorable Frank. Nakobakian <laughs> The duty speaker of parliament gave me one million shillings as contribution. <laughs> I am peace Mulwa East Africa Legislative Assembly. And Munto and Peace Mulu a pay million. Members of Parliament for Iela. Yei na bo lo konekang epay MP for Shema Municipality bo ko inge Katshumba Dixon akalami kinti one million. Mario bo. Okay. Lo kotene ni eya ni 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 ko ne MP za yo na bo mule yaka ne ge ange taken. I request them to come and make the declaration of their contribution and to Anova because. They did not give me, they did not give me the money, but they are here with the money. Honorable Richard Wanda, and then Gilbert. Gilbert, who is contesting for the Iyala, he is bringing his contribution right now. Whatever balances that exist, it is bad manners to take back balances from the temple of God. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm called Gilbert Agaba. I come from Kabare. I may be the only Muchiga here. Kabare is very far, it's about 1,000 kilometers from the city. I'm going to go to the city and I'm going to go to the city. I've been a friend to the Karamajong. I've been a friend to the Karamajong. 
I found them very good people. So when they told me they were having an anniversary, a golden jubilee for their hospital, I thought it's wise to join hands with them. Both are the friend of Karamajong and also Ugandan. On that note, I'm contributing one million shillings. I wish you all the best. Thank you. His Excellency, the Papa Nuncia, and all protocol observed, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Wanda Richard. Wanda Richard. I am the MP for Bungo Centro. Which is the Mbale district. Originally, Mbale used to reach Bulambuli. Still, still consider myself a neighbor. Now, I said he came from Kabale. We had somebody here from West Nile. But because of time, he has left early. We have people from Teso. It shows you that we have converged here in Karamoja. Because it is a call for health. It is a call for life. We want to thank the church leadership. Every, every, for every effort you put in to see that Matany Hospital continues to work and continues to serve our people. We came because we were invited. What you need to know is that invitation alone would not bring us here. But the friendship we have with the MPs from Karamoja region is the we, we are here. So we invited you here. On that note, we want to thank you for voting the right people. Because of their friendship, we are here, and even those who are unable to be here have contributed. We want to pledge our support. We'll work with your MPs to push every good agenda for the people of Karamoja. I also want to thank you for keeping my, my mother, I would say, and my sister who are here. The minister for Karamoja is from Manafa, but Manafa used to be Mbali. You have kept them well. I will not take much time. I want to say for the love of the people of Karamoja, I came to stand with them. And I'm also making a contribution of one million shillings. Thank you so much for and the team Thank you. Thank you very much, honorable colleagues, for supporting us. Yes, thank you very much. I'm going to
Thank you very much. Yes, of course, we are waiting now. It is now time for Swana Swana Swana. Thank you for your attention. We have, of course, such a big feast also people to be recognized for their long service and we have under the category of hospital supporters several groups the first group to mention is the Grupo di Apoggio Hospitale di Matali Onlus from Milano and uh, I request Dr. Marco Ro to come and receive the award in the name for his brother Benedetto, who is the president of the group. Marco, Then we have also the, the first wife of, uh, let us say, from the first medical superintendent, who was the oldest brother of Dr. Marco, that is uh, Dr. Chichiro, his wife is still alive. Chichi has died two years ago or so. Ten years. Ten years ago already. And uh, so Mirella, Dr. Mirella Capra, she was the first uh, pediatrician in Matan, and she was doing a lot to help our children. So she is getting a recognition for her long service when she was here, the best service for the children. And we ask Susanna, maybe you can come to receive it for Mirella. That is the wife of Dr. Marco. Then the other organization which was very supportive and continuous to working together with us and working together, SCUAM, Doctors with Africa. We are hoping that Dr. Peter Lochoro, a born from here, will be with us, but his wife is seriously sick, so he couldn't attend. Yeah, the no, like in the back of the back of the back of the back of the So we asked Dr. Dr. Marco to take it. Then to the head office in Padua. And then we have also, of course, an award for our current uh, chairman of the Board of Governors, Mr. Paul Abul. Dr. Chebi. Thank you so much. Then others who are not here, and we shall send them 
That is to Stack Scotland, that is a uh, St. Andrew's Child's Clinic in Scotland. They have supported us more than 20 years. Then we have an association in, in Italy called Toyai. That is Dr. Andrea Rovati, is the director. We shall send it also through our Italian friends. Then Dr. Sally Graham, she was a TB train, TBA trainer for many years. TBA traditional birth attendants. No? Then we have Dr. Friedrich Ulrich, a surgeon and a technical advisor to us for all this modern machinery we have acquired. Uh, recently, the next last 10 years. Then we have Dr. Peter Lochoro, as I said, he's on the round, but he's also recognized. And then to an engineer, Norbert Devilbauer, who is more than 20 years connected with us from PBM Austria. Then we have others, I just mentioned now the names. So we have Achia Deborah, Ade, then Akeo Joseph, Amir Sam, Dr. Daniele Giusti, who is not here, brother Dr. Daniele Giusti. We shall send it also to Italy with our good friends. Dr. Emea Matthew, is he around by chance? Yeah, Dr. Yeah. Emea, otherwise we shall send. Mr. Ikabat James, who was in the nursing training school as a tutor. Lokong Joseph Atakta, I think he's, he, he's around. Then we have Lohan Yang Lucy. She, she's a public health nurse and she was here for many, many years. Manana Chain, she was a first clinical instructor. Hongong Childo. Then Mr. Oriang Rudolf, the first principal tutor in our school. Roberto Gandolfi. Roberto, are you here or you have Roberto? This is another long serving staff in the hospital. Sister Loicina Frison, of course. You cannot miss. Sister Fausta. Sister Fausta. Kalimberti. Then Apito Betty, Kapoor Magdalen, Roman Yang Rose in Kangole now, Nayolo Lucy, she's in Gabon in the training school. So, maybe you hold on. now we have others long-serving staff and community members i want just to mention mr lokut james noah is the museum around Lokut James Noah is still one of those who have given us the land as Kazikot. If not, we shall, we shall forward it to him in the next days. Then long-serving staff are called Alice, Hariman Betty, Moru Raphael, Lokol Robert, Lokonga Santin Chun, Lokonien Chos, Joseph, Lokut Marco, Lok Wang Philip, Lomilo Paul, Lomuria Matthew, Loga Paolo, Nauga Maria, Teco Galdino, Cotel Mark, 
Grobe Federico, Zaram. Paul Carl Christopher. Logano Andrew. Lomudu Samuel. Tapem Anna. All these are supposed to receive also their awards. If they are not here now, we shall also pass it on to them. The same we shall pass on to our staff who are maybe here, others are cooking, others are in other places, organizing all on the board. The current staff, we shall also give awards. We shall do this during our Christmas party. But just to name the, just to give the names, to recognize them. Abura Elijah, Achia Giovanna, Akumu Lucy, Aleppa Gabriel, Ame Simon Peter, Among Mary, Angela Magdalene, Angolere Mario, Atim Magdalene, Awas Patrick, Dr. Emanuela Borghi, Dr. John Bosco Zubuga, Chris Bell, our medical superintendent. It's the longest medical soup we have in this hospital. Antekit Helen, our deputy principal nursing officer, she's busy in the kitchen there. Julius Eliao, Kim John, Lobur Joseph, Locham Agustin, Loquiro James, Lokio James, Lolem Lucia, Loma Aris, Lomilo Paul, Lopunia Veronica, Modong Martina, she may be vaccinated, Moru Paul, Nachua Mary, Nakiro Magdalene, Namiro Charles Otiang, Miro Martin, Morok Elia, Morok Magdalene, Okwango Samuele, Otiang Paul, Oyaya Samuel, Paul Col John, Sagal Michael, Teko Raphael, and Yeno Mary. So all of them, they will receive their award on the Christmas party of the hospital. Uh, if I think we wanted to cut it short, not to be too long, but these are all stuff. And in fact, actually everybody would receive an award because everybody is really giving their service and their, their time, their enthusiasm, as it was mentioned. And that is wonderful. That's why Matani is what it is. Thank you, everyone, especially our staff. So I hand over again to the Master of Ceremony. Thank you, Brother. I Amina, Naimina Teresa, Dagitari Yomolo, Amatai. Alakra Bishop Pagnerano, Akanyatana Pagnerica. Atalakra Tama Sister Regina Kafaosta, 
Okay, so that was a special offer to Sister Lugina and Hausta to some young girl they brought up. So she remembers them and she is promising to bring a gold for them tomorrow. Sister, <laughs> so, um, as in, we wind up with a prayer. So, I ask our bishop to come and bless us. Then we go to places we have been informed to go for the meal. My Lord Bishop. Ebbene, <laughs> Mata Maria, Maria, Aki Buses, Toya Capolon, any who's. You can buy Waki, the Akunality Ronnie Borodata, a park, a local book, a town, all the Busan.